variables and constants in C. Hello everyone, I am Sanjay, and today I will try to teach you using this video. We already have the introduction of C from the notes. I will make few parts video for this chapter. This is the part one of those. In this video, I will talk about keywords and identifiers, constants, variables, data types and declaration of variables. Let's start with C character set. It contains the keyboard characters which can be used in writing a C program. A character set includes alphabets, digits, and special symbols. There is a term, C tokens, which is the smallest individual unit in a C program. A C token is a meaningful combination of C characters, just like a word in the English language. There are total of six types of C tokens. Keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, special symbols, and operators. At first, keywords and identifiers. Every token in C is classified as either a keyword or as an identifier. Keywords are predefined, reserved words used in programming that have special meanings to the compiler. Keywords are part of the syntax and they cannot be used as an identifier. For example, INT money. Here, INT is a keyword that indicates money is a variable of type integer. Points to be noted that there are only 32 keywords available in C but the list may also include some additional words in some C compilers. And all the keywords must be written in lowercase. Identifiers are C tokens defined by a programmer in a program which may refer to the name of variable, function, or arrays. Identifiers must be unique. They are created to give a unique name to an entity to identify it during the execution of the program. For example, INT money, double account balance. Here, money and account balance are identifiers. Also remember, identifier names must be different from keywords. You cannot use int as an identifier because INT is a keyword. There are some rules for creating identifiers. A valid identifier can have letters, both uppercase and lowercase letters, digits, and underscores. The first letter of an identifier should be either a letter or an underscore. You cannot use keywords as identifiers. There is no rule on how long an identifier can be. However, you may run into problems in some compilers if the identifier is longer than 31 characters. You can choose any name as an identifier if you follow those rules, however, give meaningful names to identifiers that make sense. Now, you will learn about variables and rules for naming a variable. You will also learn about different literals in C programming and how to create constants. In programming, a variable is a container, or you can say, a storage area to hold data. To indicate this storage area, each variable should be given a unique name that would be identifier. Variable names are just the symbolic representation of a memory location. For example, int player score equals 95. Here, player score is a variable of int type. And the variable is assigned an integer value 95. We can change the value of a variable, hence the name variable. The rules for naming a variable would be same as the rules of naming an identifier. C is a strongly typed language. This means that the variable type cannot be changed once it is declared. For example, int number equals 5. Here a number is an integer variable. So, number equals 5.5 .5 will give you error. And later, if you write like double number will also give you error. Here, the type of number variable is integer. You cannot assign a floating point, decimal, value 5.5 .5 to this variable. Also, you cannot redefine the data type of the variable to double. By the way, 
To store the decimal values in C, you need to declare its type to either double or float. Now, what is literals? Literals are a little bit different from constant or user-defined constants. Literals are data used for representing fixed values. They can be used directly in the code. For example, 1, 2.5, C, etc. Here, 1, 2.5 and C are literals or you can also say constants. Why? You cannot assign different values to these terms. Let's talk about few types of constants in C. First, integers constants. An integer is a numeric constant without any fractional or exponential part. There are three types of integer constants in C programming, decimal, which has base 10, octal, which has base 8, hexadecimal, is of base 16. For example, decimal, 0, minus 9, 22, etc. Octal, 0, 21, 0, 77, 0, 33, etc. Hexadecimal, 0x7f, 0x2a, 0x521, etc. In C programming, octal starts with a 0, and hexadecimal starts with a 0x. Second, floating point literals. A floating point constant is a numeric constant that has either a fractional form or an exponent form. For example, minus 2.0. 0.0000234 minus 0.22e minus 5. Note, e minus 5 means 10 to the power of 5. Third, characters. A character literal is created by enclosing a single character inside single quotation marks. For example, a, m, f, 2, close curly bracket, etc. Fourth, escape sequences. Sometimes, it is necessary to use characters that cannot be typed or has special meaning in C programming. For example, new line, tab, question mark, etc. In order to use these characters, escape sequences are used. Look at the diagram, later you can check your book also for this diagram. Here, for example, backslash n is used for a new line. The backslash causes escape from the normal way the characters are handled by the compiler. And fifth one is string constants. A string literal is a sequence of characters enclosed in double quote marks. For example, good, a string constant, nothing inside double quotes, represents a null string constant. Space 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 represents a string constant of six white space. X, a string constant having a single character. Earth is round, backslash n. It prints the string with a new line. If you want to define a variable whose value cannot be changed, you can use the CONST keyword. This will create a constant. For example, constant double pi equals 3.14. Notice, we have added keyword CONST. Here, pi is a symbolic constant. Its value cannot be changed. Constant, double, pi, equals 3.14, or pi equals 2.9 will give you error. In C programming, data types are declarations for variables. This determines the type and size of data associated with variables. For example, INT, MY via R. Here, MY via R is a variable of integer type. The size of INT is 4 bytes. We will learn more about C data type and declaration of variables in next part of video. That's it for today. See you on next video. Bye now.